So interviews, yeah. Uh, it was like hell. I, had, I was in the train, I had to move around, and I just gave interviews one after the other. Really. I mean, it was completely incredible. Um, we qu quickly decided that we're going to make a press conference uh, where we're going to explain once for all uh, the situation um, <clears throat> and use the Swiss press ag agency to, to announce that press conference. But anyway, we made further interviews, <laughs> for example, radios uh, where they want to have your voice. So a press conference is not very interesting for them. It's more for press agencies or uh, maybe television or um, the press, the paper press. So we had our press conference where the National Press Agency was present, the Associated Press, Keystone, the guys doing pictures and, and selling them, and uh, local press. And well, this was not planned, so I was not like shaved or prepared or anything, so um, well, that's one of the pictures, maybe you saw that one. Uh, that's one taken by Keystone. Uh, so I've got my big <laughs> bird here and... <laughs> um, yeah. So... When this happens, you're not prepared, so... You just have to deal with it. So we explained the, the situation uh, during that press conference. And quickly, in the next day, we wrote an email to the .ch registry asking them if they had any plan to cut off the Wikileaks.ch. And <coughs> we were surprised positively by their answer, as you can see here. Uh, there is no legal base to do that. We're not responsible of content, and you need a judge, a court order, uh, to delete the domain name. We did that to switch. Switch is the um, academic network responsible for .ch. And uh, we also did that at the Federal Office of Communication and they replied exactly the same. So we're kind of proud of our institutions. <laughs> so that they follow um, power separation and do not mix up things. Then the next three weeks, um, yeah, CNN, Wall Street Journal, Al Jazeera, Associated Press, almost every national TV and radio, I can't count them, I, I can't tell you who, I mean, it was one after the other, um, and press in Switzerland. Um, and I, I was not able to actually work for three weeks. I'm in minus 96 hours of work, which I need to get back somehow. <laughs> um, but uh, lucky for me, my um, employer is a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and understood the situation that this is very exceptional. This is very unlikely to occur again in the next 10 years. I mean, even the large and established parties in Switzerland were kind of jealous of our media coverage. <laughs> they never had that. Even when we forbid building of minarets, there was not such a media coverage on the international level. And well, it started to we we started actually to slow down on interviews. Uh, starting to say no when the whole theme moved to Julian Assange because we're not supporting Julian Assange. We're supporting Julian Assange maybe as a speaker of Wikileaks <clears throat> or as a co-founder, but we are actually supporting Wikileaks or better said the idea of Wikileaks. So it can be Wikileaks, it can be Open Leaks, it can be whatever. It doesn't really matter. And um, well, just to go back, <coughs> by luck for us, uh, Christmas was coming, the New Year, and everything slowed down, and it was really a break. Uh, 
and 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 we got out of it. Otherwise, it could have lost. I mean, several months. So I call this post media time, two thousand eleven. So what you need to do is when you get that media attention, you need to bounce on the events to bring your agenda. And we were thinking about that in the, in the beginning of December when the whole thing started. What are we going to say? Um, how do we bring the Swiss agenda in, in the topics? I mean, it's useless when you talk to CNN, but it's very useful if you talk to uh, national media. Um, so what, what do you bring? You need to bring something new. So we entered, invented a new word that was actually not existing in Switzerland, maybe it exists in some other countries, but we invent digital policy. And we were claiming that we have a digital policy and no other party has. And they are lost behind and we are forward. Um, so that's, that attracted really attention from the other parties. Some stating uh, that, for example, the, the Christian Democrats uh, saying that their C was also for cyber and that <laughs> since 10 years and stuff like that. It was quite funny. <laughs> We then wrote a letter to uh, the Federal Council, which is the executive of the country in Switzerland. It's a council of seven ministers, uh, because we actually don't have a president in Switzerland. It's kind of weird, I know, but uh, <laughs> it's some kind of board, the Federal Council, seven ministers. <coughs> One of them is president, but not president of the country, he's president of, of the council, actually. Um, and our letter was supported by multiple members of the parliament, so we had to talk with them and explain the situation, uh, find some that might um, support our opinion on WikiLeaks, and we found some, uh, green ones, liberal ones. So that, that really brings credibility when you have established politicians supporting one thing you do. So <clears throat> always be careful when you criticize other parties because you might need them. Maybe in a petition, maybe in whatever <coughs> forms you have in the UK uh, where you need support, maybe from uh, parliament members, uh, make sure you don't make them too angry. <laughs> well, you can make them angry, but forget about their support in the future. <laughs> So choose, choose, choose your enemies <laughs> wisely. <clears throat> um, Post Finance, which is the um, Swiss Post, which has deposit accounts. It's not a bank, so it's not under the bank <coughs> law and the bank secrecy law. But it's actually more on the Post and Telecommunication secrecy law. Um, so they. The funny thing is that they have to follow the same law that the ISPs, uh, because it's communication secret that we have in Switzerland. And post finance, uh, because Julian Assange opened an, uh, an account there, uh, made it public that he had an account, made it public that there was money on the account. They didn't disclose how much, but they said there was money, because they said that he could come at any time to get his money back. That means that he has money on the account, so they disclosed information about that. And we thought with our lawyer that they broke uh, the law, several laws, criminal laws. So we filed a criminal complaint at the uh, called state attorney. And since it's criminal, they will have to uh, <coughs> follow it by default. So this is still ongoing because, you know, justice, that's very slow. It takes a lot of time. They haven't yet replied, confirmed that they received our letter. <laughs> <laughs> that's like two months. 